Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group Weekly Update for the week ending October the 29th, 2021. Well, trick-or-treat season hit earnings this week and the economic data. So, the treat was a spectacular earnings season until you got all the way up till Thursday and, and Apple missed uh, on reports and so they took a pretty big hit causing Microsoft to beat them out for the largest uh, in the race to, for the uh, uh, world's largest capitalized company. And so Microsoft passed them uh, on, on that miss. Otherwise, the economic data was the real trick for the week. Uh, it came in uh, showing only 2% growth during Q3, uh, whereas we had 6.3% growth in Q1, 6.7% growth in Q2. And a lot of that has to do with still the shipping bottlenecks and inflation and the, and the impacts of inflation and the worries caused by the inflation. So. The uh, NASDAQ uh, ended up higher, all-time all record highs for the week, higher for the week uh, on the S&P 500. The small and mid-caps down slightly for the week, but still up uh, overall. I mean, it's a, it's a bullish picture. They're, they, they're, they're, they're down from their, their previous close, but still moving uh, in, in an upward to the right uh, trend. Trends are still intact uh, all around the board. Now. Uh, also, uh, what happened there was, uh, as, as Jared Nichols, my son, uh, who has joined the firm, pointed out to me this week, was that Facebook made a strategic branding change and changed its name to Meta. So we no longer have fangs, we have mangs, but we don't believe that that necessarily cures all the woes that Facebook faces uh, going forward. It's going to be like Google. You can change the name to Alphabet or ABC or whatever you want to, but everybody's going to know the same platform by the same name. For, uh, for a long time to come until they uh, just eradicate it. I think there's a lot of problems and uh, doesn't seem to be impacting the stock price that hard though. All right, well, let's get back into what we do think is impacting things and that's the fear of inflation. The, the inflation becomes real when it becomes distortions uh, on, on people's actions and we are seeing distorted actions by people as they're going forward. A lot of uh, hedge fund managers calling for the Fed to start raising rates earlier and stop uh, start the bond tapering process earlier uh, in, in order to diminish the impact on, on equity prices. A lot of people with interests in cryptocurrencies calling for fears of hyperinflation. We're not seeing this, as Kathy Woods point out, points out, because the velocity of the money within the uh, money supply system has not picked up, it has not increased. There is a lot of liquidity, to be sure. And, and core price inflation is over 5%, but what we see the data show us in the bond break, uh, in the uh, break-even inflation protected bonds uh, is that uh, it, the people with skin in the game are still around 2.6%. Not not up to the uh, 270, so we're less than three on that. And a lot of people, uh, analysts, expecting uh, growth rates in the economy to be three and a half percent to five percent, regardless of the rate of inflation that we have uh, right now, which is uh, still geared and, and looked at as perhaps uh, uh, not st sticking around a little bit longer than what they they initially thought it was going to, but not as long. As, uh, as a lot of people are fearing. So, reach out to us. Let us help you tax optimize your portfolio. Let us help you earn more money than you have right now. Just go to assetguidancegroup.com, check us out. Contact me at wnichols at assetguidancegroup.com, 404-348-4120. Have a great Halloween weekend, and we'll see you next week in November.